<laughs> okay, minute of silence. We're live for the YouTube. Welcome to WP Tonic, episode 35. Today, Jonathan's going to tell us all about the leading host CMS competitors to WordPress. I, and it's going to be the whole month about this CMS and competition and other sort of derivatives of WordPress and some special plugins, right, Jonathan? Yeah, we're going to look at the, comp the dreaded competition, but then we're going to get back to the righteous path of WordPress, Bill. We're going to look at some of the leading new uh, plug-in solutions that help people, um, page builders, basically, Bill. That's so, what we're going to look at. So we're, talking we're, going to go, we're going to go back to righteousness, Bill, but... You, you do have to look at the dark side occasionally. So I think it, it would be quite useful that we look at the competition and we look at their strengths and we look at their weaknesses, as unbiased as I can be, Bill. But I'm sure you, you'll keep me on the right track, Bill. Yep, and I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a lover to WordPress. I'm addicted to WordPress. So as we talk about these other platforms, which I'll let you introduce. In fact, I, look, we're going to talk about three basic ones, right? Weebly, uh, Wix, and Squarespace. Yes, yeah, so, uh, I'm going to go Squarespace first, Bill. But I think, uh, first of all, we're going to ha um, just give a quick outline. Um, so to our newbies to WordPress, WordPress comes in two flavors. It comes with its own fully hosted solution, which is WordPress.com. And um, that's improving enormously. Um, what it is, though, is it's slightly different to the three that we're going to talk about because they don't come with a kind of drag and drop editor kind of system um, you choose a theme in wordpress.com and you fill that theme in and but you don't you've got to choose a theme there isn't an enormous amount of customization apart from colors and logo and a few other things that you can change which some people that some people would say that's great, you know. They that you know, the, and in some ways, I, I I kind of oscillate in agreeing or not agreeing. Some people are saying the ability to move a theme around gives the person's inexperienced person just to mess it up, basically. So they provide that, um, and then you got WordPress.org, which you download it's totally free you upload it to a hosting solution and then you buy a, a you get a free or commercial free when you, you can customize the whole thing to your heart six you know right as much as you like bill it's you know for people to understand that it's kind of difficult that the dot the wordpress.com is a business entity and dot org is the open source which and the open source is used by all of your for-profit and non-for-profit where you're using your platform or your Word, WordPress site for your business, basically, or whatever it might be, be a hobby too, but it's more powerful, a .org. Yeah. Much more powerful. Well, the .org is more yes, powerful. Yes, your, your, your dot, traditional the, download of WordPress and yeah, customization. Yeah, you know, the .com um, has millions and millions of sites on it, um, and they give you a feature set, and it's managed by them, the security. Um, it's hugely successful, but it's a much more, um, in um, customization terms, it's much more limited than the free competitors and certainly a lot more reduced than the freely downloadable version of WordPress. Right, Bill? Right, right. right. And then quickly, we've got a couple um, open source competitors. We've got Joomla and we've got Drupal. And I'm not going to go into a lot of um, detail about those two because um, I did utilize Joomla a few years ago and I had a quick look at both last week. And to my opinion, they are extremely complicated and unsuitable for somebody that's trying to set this up on their own. Um, totally fine for experienced developer. Um, I, I'm not leaving WordPress soon. I'm quite happy with WordPress. And I don't want to get into the world of Joomla and Drupal. But God bless them. You know, they've they both got great developer communities that love them, Bill. Yep. And um, again, that's, I mean, you can only focus on so many things. One thing I would say for anybody developing websites and processes, really focus into whatever you're going to do and do it well. And for me, that's WordPress. 
Yeah, um, I'm WordPress, end of story. Um, that's what I deal with. So let's get on to um, the hosted. These are non-open source solutions. These are owned by public or private companies, and they provide their own systems. And we're going to look at the three leading, which is Squarespace, Wix, and Weebly. And there's there's a number of other ones, but um, these are the what I consider to be the three main private hosted solutions. And I opened accounts with all three, and I played around with all three. Um, I have done commercial work with Squarespace, but that was over a year ago, and all these systems improve. And um, I'm going to start these. These are only going to be my reflections and i need to tell you where my mindset i try to think i'm a business owner and i'm looking to get something up and running quickly and i haven't got a lot of experience in web design or development i'm a business person i own a small business but i want to get something up that looks half decent so that was the kind of mindset that I tried to place myself into, Bill, as I looked at these three solutions, all right? Sounds good to me. And for what it's worth, sometimes in the podcasting world, I've heard people give advice for the, for those to go to these types of systems as opposed to diving into WordPress. Yeah. But what I will say, long run, I'm going to stick by it. If you're uh, going to start podcasting or any of the new media platforms, maybe be cognizant about these other other systems. But uh, in the long run, WordPress is going to give you the fundamentals. It's sort of like the, that you you need to go as far as you want to go. Yeah, well, I think we can talk. I agree with you. I think there's some elements that we can expand right. if we get time at the end yep. of this. So, you... the fir- so the first one I'm going to look at, nice. Bill, You're is... supposed to remember always to turn off your phone. <laughs> Hello? Yes, Bill. Hey, this is GoDaddy. Really bad time on a live podcast. Can you call back like in a half hour? What do you think, Jonathan? Sorry about that. Bye. I turned well, off my phone. That was a that was a call from GoDaddy. They're trying to sell me on up upsell. Oh God. Well, I think we'll leave that on there. It'll yeah, be on. We'll, it'll we'll, be, we'll continue. It'll be on here. Always. By the way, when you do a podcast, yes. I will usually reboot my computer, get everything set. But remember, I didn't have my phone with me. I had to go get it. Turn off your phone. Yes, Bill. So I'll be continue. Bill. Oh man, one of those days. No, it's are, four, we, are we continue? Drive on. Drive. Oh, God. Um, right. Um, so Squarespace. Let's look at Squarespace. Um, so these are my reflections around about Squarespace. It starts at eight dollars uh, a month, but actually that that is if you pay up front for the year. The real cost is around twelve ten to twelve dollars a year if you're paying monthly. Um, it. Their actual designs, I would say, are the best of the three. Um, all the designs are responsive. Um, they it also they have different levels. Like I say, the prices they give it are the prices that if you pay yearly. The real prices are like from ten, and then the professional, which has e-commerce functionality goes up to about $20 a month. And then the business level is actually $30 a month plus. But they are extras and some of the extras you do need. I'm just pointing that out. You get e-commerce functionality with all three. There are some, on the cheaper version, there are some limitations around disk space that you get and bandwidth that you get, right? Right. Um, most small to medium businesses, the restrictions would be totally okay. And let, um, the other thing that they guarantee is that for some reason, if your website gets enormously popular, suddenly, let's say somebody talks about your website and you get an enormous amount of traffic, they have an internal balancing system. So your your website will never go down, basically. I think I've outlined the strengths. So when I entered the system, my reflections in the mindset, which I was trying to place myself, I think the actual editing system is slick, but it's not the most guided. 
If you're a, a business owner that had no experience in WordPress, I think you would start to, you would be a little bit intimidated by what you're seeing. Um, that was my reflection. I think this balance between functionality and guidance, Squarespace are definitely leading more to the functionality side, Bill. Did that make sense to you? Yeah, it does. It does. And that's that's the idea. Though it right. does, it, you know, I don't know what it would be like to be a newbie into web pages and jump into Squarespace. But I assume they have good online support also. They do, but it's just my reflection. I think without studying, this is, you know, without reading the documentation, what your feeling is. And your feeling is that, yes, but there's a lot a lot going on, right? Yep. Somebody new is not going to – somebody new, they probably heard about WordPress. They probably may not have heard about Squarespace. Yeah. So um, that was my refle- reflection on it. But – it, on the other hand, if you're a developer or you're a marketer, let's say a marketer, um, somebody that's used to running marketing campaigns professionally, and you're looking to get up something temporary, let's say it's an event or it's an event for a non-profit or it's something that you need to develop rapidly, but it's got a time element to it like it's a promotional campaign i would probably would look at squarespace because you could rapidly get something developed and up and running and it's disposable bill and if you've got some experience with other platforms you're going to be the most of the three we're looking at you're going to be the most happiest with Squarespace because it provides um, really quite powerful customization elements. Um, it enables you to go into the code of the CSS and the HTML, and you can change a lot, Bill. That's good. So it's got its strengths and it's got its weakness. So to recap, it, I would probably say. If you're a real newbie and you're just a small business owner, this probably isn't of the three the the one that I would recommend to you. If you've got a, a, a graphic designer doing it for you, or you've got a marketer, or you're uh, one of those two type of people, I would say of the three we're looking at, this is the one I would recommend to you, Bill. Right, sounds good to me. Right. I was gonna, I, one thing I would ask is how's the uh Search on it with Google SEO. I didn't actually look into that, but I would say that of the three, it's one of the better ones. Yep. Okay. Right. What I've heard and what I've read, um, I would say it's one of the better ones, right? Sounds good. Now we go on to Wix. Um, and um, basically um, you start at something around for, they provide a, a free plan but that's very limited. Um, and then the next one up is around $5 a month. My initial my initial reaction of the templates that they provide is that some of them are really quite nice and some of them are really quite cheesy. Um, so it, uh, unlike Squarespace, the basic library of templates are a little bit more of a mixed bag bill, but some of them are really nice. Some of them aren't. Um, I'm not sure if all of them are responsive as well. I can't say 100%, but I did look at the library. Um, Then we get on to the actual how you edit one of these templates. And initially, I thought the editing interface was a bit cheesy. And I thought this wasn't going to be that good. But actually, when I started to use it, if you're in the mindset which I was trying to put myself into... It's actually a very nice balance between functionality and guidance. So it's quite easy to use, yet it's also very powerful, right? So that's a big strength. Um, One of its problems is that, um, which is a no-no for me, is that on the free and on the cheapest paid, they put advertisement on your website. Right. right? Well, it's free. You got it. Or, yeah, but also the lowest paid account. Yeah. Oh, lowest paid too. 
they put advertisement. Um, but be truthful, WordPress.com on the free version of WordPress.com, they put advertisement. Okay, on. folks, just remember WordPress.com is completely different than WordPress.org, and that's what we use. We use WordPress installation with WordPress.org. No, yes. no ads, unless you have some kind of plug in it and shoots them into your. Yeah, so that's that 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 was a bit of a no no for me, Bill. That the advertisement, I just don't like it. And they've got quite they've got quite limited. The other thing is their pricing structure compared compared to Squarespace. It's a I think it's a very complicated pricing structure. They they've got over six options on their pricing page, and they've got a very long. Um, it's all a little bit. I think for the average person, which they're aiming this for, it's a little bit over complicated. Bill, you know, they've got prices from four, nine, twelve, sixteen, twenty-four, right? Yep, I'm trying to find their pricing right now, and um, I can't even find it. So start now. Yeah, subscriptions. That's what you got at the top menu, there you subscri- go. right? So, it, yeah, to say, say pricing, they got subscriptions. Got you, right? And it's a little bit complicated for me. Right. Yep. I mean, I'm used to this kind of stuff. Unlimited. Um, but um, so it's definitely got some weaknesses. Um, they also have their own e-commerce platform, like Squarespace. Um, it's a it's a um, Squarespace. I think is based either in New York or San Francisco. Wix is based. It has offices in Europe, in San Francisco, but it's actually the parent company is based in Israel. Tel Aviv. Yeah, I saw that. All the, right. the major head. Yeah, it's a and it, it's financing is Israeli venture capital tool. Okay. It's one of the bigger players. Um, they've got a lot of sites they're managing. Um, another factor which I didn't like which is one of the strong points of send Squarespace is that you can't export your stuff out of this system. Your um, If you decide to stop using them, that's it. Um, you can export the HTML out of Squarespace. And if you know what you're doing, you probably could code it up into WordPress. But if you decide not to use Wix, that's the end of the story. You know, you're not exporting anything out of this system, Bill, mm-hmm. right? So you're stuck with Wix and you're stuck with what they do. Isn't as flexible as Squarespace if you're a developer or anybody that knows their CSS and or HTML can't be compared. But it's basic. if you're somebody who just needs to get something up, it does come with a really nice editor. But I think you got to go. You got to go up to Combo, which is around nine dollars, which is around what Squarespace is charging. Because um, I wouldn't want advertising on a, a company's website. Right, right. You know, another thing they have on their front page, like they have a slider, and I don't like sliders on their advertising marketing side. Yeah, For what it's worth. So um, I think I've been honest about its strengths, but um, yeah, so I'll recap. Then we go on to Wib- Wibbly. Uh, what I would say about Wibbly is it's a, it's, um, I think it's based in Boulder. It, it, it's a startup, but it's got a very large um, customer base now. Sometimes you say it w- Weebly. 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 Weebly, yes. Thank you, Bill. Okay. Um, they offer an enormous amount of functionality on this platform. They offer not only e-commerce, but they also offer a membership, paid membership functionality. They offer an enormous amount of functionality. It's quite amazing, really. Um, they do offer a free account, and then it's also excellent value build. They, you know, the free account is cut down, but you, you get... Uh, oh, that was another factor I forgot to point out with um, Squarespace. They do have a page limit, Bill. Uh, with the lower account, you can only have a maximum of up to 20 pages, Bill. Yeah, I saw that, but, 20 pages. But with, with, with Wix and with Weebly, you don't have that restriction. But on their, on their free free account and also their their starter account is pretty um, impressive and it, and it starts at four dollars a month bill it's excellent value 
And they they've got a lot they've got a lot of functionality built into their system. That's the good things. One of the bad things is that the actual templates I think are the weakest of the three. They do have some nice ones, but uh, I was looking at the totality of their library bill, and in pure design terms, uh, I would say they're the weakest of the three. Uh, another factor is that their editor is not terrible. But I don't think it is as good as Wix's, even though in a strange way it looks better. The the actual Wix editor looks a bit cheesy, but when you start using it, as I said before, it's the most logical and easiest to use straight away, Bill, without reading the help section. Uh, Weebly, I would say, isn't as easy to use out, out of the gate as Wix, but it is easier to use than Squarespace. Also, you don't get any advertisement on their free product or on their starter product, Bill. What do you think, Bill? It's actually a nice looking site. It's a US. I like to support, you know, not all our stuff is US, but I like to support US based companies, but I sort of like the sales site and they hit landing page the way that I sort of like how they're laying out their proposal and coming up to the people on their site. Looks like they have a pretty dynamic type system too. Very dynamic. No, yes. Maybe not as dynamic as I thought. I just pushed it over their front page and it, it cut off half of their uh, sign up, for, sign up uh, form. Yeah, the, their actual site isn't responsive. It's Bill. not responsive. No. Um, and I think some of their themes aren't it's responsive. Strange. Okay, that's a hit uh, right there. Big hit. Huge hit. Uh, I wouldn't do right. anything that's not responsive. Though the, that, though the second page is very responsive. Yeah, it's a bit hit. Not. It's a bit hit. But if you go to the Wix site, their site is not responsive either. No, you got to be careful. You want a responsive site. That's one of the requirements. Whatever you do, uh, you when you go to Squarespace, very it's responsive. T- it's very responsive, and the 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 theme quality you get is the top of the three. Yeah. Um, so I think Weebly is kind of, uh, in some ways, I'm really impressed with what Weebly are offering. And I would say their pricing structure is much more understandable than Wix. I think Wix's pricing structure is just madness. They need to really yeah. work on that and slim it down a bit. And um, But I think it's kind of stuck in the middle between... Because if you're really a professional um, graphic designer, marketer, work with a client and you're looking to build something rapidly, you would go to Squarespace. If you're on your own, you're just a small business on your own and you're looking for something that is non-WordPress, you, you'll, you'll go probably look at Wix, but you look at one of the higher pro pricing structures, Bill. Right. So, yeah, I, again, I'm not, we're coming near the end of this uh, episode. We're at 20, about 25 minutes. Yeah. So these aren't, you know, I'm not a big support. I mean, you only have so much time. You got to focus which direction you're going to go. So I'm going to ask you one last question. What are the selling pitches to the average person? I would assume that most of the people using these types of WordPress sites are going to be new, maybe. Or how many agencies are going to recommend these sites? Uh, to I don't their see. I, I don't see agency utilizing Wix or Weebly. Uh, I do. Uh, I do think small agencies do use Squarespace. Well, it, it's a bit of a difficult one because I, I think they're all kind of selling the. They're they're selling a bit of a delusion, really, right. Bill. Um, but I can understand if you just need to get something up. You know, you just need a website up and you don't think you're going to get a return on the investment in any shape or form. And, and you just just want to get something up as quick as possible. You probably look at one of these, yeah. but you wouldn't look at Squarespace. I think you look at Wix or Weebly. If you want to get anything from the website in commercial terms, I, um, apart from hiring somebody to do something with Squarespace. I, I think Wix and Weebly are, are a little bit of a lie. You know, they're, they're saying, because um, I think you'll go in and you'll end up with a pretty cheesy, rough-looking website if you mess around with things too much because you just haven't got either graphic design or, you know, it, it, will, look like, it will look like a really cheap website, Bill. Right. So that's a good way to leave it, I think, on these three. And 
for um, in the weeks ahead, we're going to go and talk. The next step up would probably be Rainmaker, which is really WordPress. It's based on Genesis. Yeah, we're going to we're going next week going to talk about Rainmaker, but then we're also going to talk about three of the le- two premier one free um, WordPress page building. So um, you know which aren't themes. One of these themes that's got loads of short codes. These are plugins that enable you to buy a theme, then put these plugins in and then start have a bit more customization of your site without having to know all the code bill sounds good jonathan and uh, next week we talk a little bit about uh, new media exposition as well as the national broadcasters association i'll be going there for a week and we'll talk about that next week yes he's on he's, he's off yeah. he's, he's been allowed out the coach folks yeah he's it's gonna be a good off. week he's gonna be traveling i got a lot of work to do this week to get ready to go though tons of work Las, Las Vegas just won't know what hit it. <laughs> all right jonathan let's <laughs> tie it up any last things no i think that's it bill sounds good out here bye folks Aloha. For show notes, Google Hangouts, and additional resources, go to wp-tonic.com. As you continue on your WordPress journey, have fun, do your best, adjust your plans and code as needed, but remember to never and never give up, even when the code doesn't work. And never give up. And never give up. And never give up. 